All right, guys. Today we're going to do a little experiment. I've got my essential oil sugar water mixture. I've got my pollen sub, my blender, and there's been a study out there, and there's been going around Facebook. I read it oh, a year or so ago, and now I'm just getting around to trying it. Feeding your bees bananas, and the study's talking about basically just cutting them down the center, laying them on top of the frames and you'll get around a 30% brood increase in spring. I guess it transfers over to the summer too. Well, my idea is I'm gonna blend them up using the sugar water and the bananas and then I'm gonna put it into my pollen sub and go out and put it on some hives. I've got some hives already marked that are the same. They've got four frames of brood. They look like they're just about identical. I'm gonna make up regular pollen sub like I normally do every year and then then I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna also make up this banana pollen sub. I'm gonna grind up the peels, the banana and all. All I've done is cut off the little knobs. And we're gonna put it on the hives and we're gonna do a comparison, see how they do this spring. And then I'll make a second video on the differences if any. So basically all I'm gonna do right off the bat is Take my knife and cut up some of these bananas. I have no clue how this is going to work in a blender either. Maybe one of the back up and restart the video again later. Try it again with a different way. A little thicker than one to one. It's April, oh, not April, March the 9th. All right, let's do this. pause it here and won't bore you with doing another round or two. Alright, now that we got all that blended in the bucket with the original pollen sub, I'm going to give her a little bit more pollen sub. Try to thicken up the consistency because I'm only going to do about, yeah, this is about five, six pounds of mixture. Just take your nice little kitchen utensil and make a thick pasty but not too thick because you don't want it to dry out too fast and the reason I'm doing this is because we're supposed to be having like a week of rain well if they can't get out and bring in pollen they'll slow down brood production and they may even cannibalize some of your larva so that sets you back so I'm making a thick pasty banana pollen sub. That's about, yeah, that's about the right consistency. Get all this pollen sub mixed up good. I'll link that uh, study research paper that was done in the description. I'll also link my video to the essential oil mixture that I make. Because it's basically my version of Brood Builder, but it's antibacterial, antiviral, it's antimicrobial. It's all the essential oils that I picked to put in it. Mine's different than a lot of other folks. The one thing is that it says Magic Cell, which you cannot find anymore because Tractor Supply, the company that Tractor Supply 
bought it from no longer makes it. So you have to buy a red cell. All right, let's put a pause on it and we'll go put some on the hives. All right, this is one of my test colonies. I've already got in it. There's no sugar on top in the sugar shim. There's three frames of brood, partial frame of brood and nectar, and a frame of pollen. So there's not enough nectar in this hive to make it through the next eight days. Seven or eight days they're saying for rain. So I'm going to put some more sugar on it, but I'm also going to put the pollen sub on it. Sad thing is the sun's went away. It's gotten windy. Temperatures have dropped a little bit because we got storms coming in. So I'm going to put about a half a sheet of newspaper. Should have been prepared because I don't have my bag of sugar open. Put my veil on just, just because of that reason, because the it's gotten windy, the temperature's dropped, the sun's gone. Now you see they're not attacking me or anything. Let's see what happens when I put this banana pollen sub on. Yeah, they're really coming out of the box on me because it's got bananas. I'll link another video from last year when my state inspector was here. We busted that myth by putting banana on the the hive came back 30 minutes later. Wave, see, I'm waving my hand over here. Look at this. I'll show you the hive. Prove to you there's bees in the hive. Got all kinds of bees in the hive. But see, uh, they're not. They're coming up. They're already eating the pollen sub. So we're going to test this, and we're going to see what happens. I'll do a follow-up video. Hit that like and subscribe. We'll go ahead and put the lid back on these girls because they're losing heat with all that brood. Like and subscribe. Share the videos and let's see what this research comes out to be. You guys have a great day. I've got a bunch more hives to do. Just a little update. Three days later, the banana pollen patties, you see they're mean. Look at them. They're just stinging me to death. Oh my goodness. Two boxes full of bees. Get ready to put a third box on there. Stinging me to death because those bananas. That's a myth.